Hey everybody, Madron here with another tutorial video. Um, I'm going to be going over more of the advanced uh, parts of CARP um, and also some parts that maybe I didn't quite cover or I feel personally I didn't cover so well in the first video. Um, just to show I do have Ultimate CARP on Obsidian. Uh, so I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, one thing that I didn't really go over so well is the frequency of the pieces. Um, so if you know the frequency of the pieces, and this is just approximate from um, even the YPDA says that this is just like from people's opinion, uh, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty solid and pretty uh, ground, ground in there. Um, this is the P piece. It's the most frequent piece in the puzzle. Um, this is F piece, this is Y piece. Uh, pretty much just as you go along, you're going to become rarer and rarer. Uh, I will say that on Obsidian, at least in my experience, uh, compared to Emerald, because I also have Bolt Carp there, uh, Obsidian, the frequency of the pieces definitely seems a lot different. Um, some of these more rare pieces that you should pretty much never see, you'll see a lot of, or way more frequently than others. Um, I've talked with other carpers, they experience the same thing. Uh, like sometimes you might have four T pieces in a row, which is crazy because you generally shouldn't. Um, but just to give you an idea, uh, though of roughly how often these pieces occur because if you know roughly how often these pieces are going to occur you can kind of know what you should and should not leave holes for and what type of holes you should form um, so for example if you leave a, a P hole that's going to be left in your puzzle uh, then you're in good shape most likely because it's very likely that piece will spawn so that you can get a masterpiece. Um, on the other hand, if you leave, if you box yourself in and leave the, the I or the L, uh, or I'm sorry, it's an I, um, if you leave the I, then you kind of screwed yourself over because it's, it's very unlikely to spawn. Um, and, and the eye really is very unlikely to spawn even in, um, even here on Obsidian. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's one thing that I would say. Uh, uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and go back to puzzle um, so that I can just kind of show you again what I do. And again, uh, I'm just going to kind of give you an idea as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, so let's just actually, well, I'm not going to do one with a pilly just because it could get interrupted a lot. Uh, so I'm just going to go with Navy. Uh, and this is a little bit unfortunate because it already started, but since I don't really care about my stat here, I'm just going to go ahead and hop on. So. With this one, I don't exactly like the boards, personally, um, starting off, but it's okay. Sometimes you don't get dream boards. You could abandon within about uh, three to five seconds, and it won't hurt your score. So if you really, really are going to get nitpicky and really want to boost your score, you could just abandon to, with no penalty uh, and increase your stat. Already right there, I got fine. Um, so I'm going to try to fill these two first so that the puzzle will shift upwards. And as you can see, all that I need to do is put this Y and this P in here, and I'm good to go. Uh, so now I want to go ahead and start focusing on these other holes using. Um, in the meantime, the pieces that don't really fit in this hole, up here or up here, if I can help it. Uh, I really don't like that. 
piece, the X piece at all right now because it does not help me on really any hole. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. And see, we are banking on a P piece, which we've got another one of. And we'll bank again on a P piece, which as you can see, I just got again. Uh, we're probably gonna go ahead and make a brooch hole here because, well, I want to keep my masterpiece streak as high as possible. That's that's the key with carp. You just want to keep on getting as many masterpieces as you can. Uh, the more masterpieces you have, the higher your score, and the higher your score, the, um, the higher your rank will get over time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bank on two Ys, but we'll see if I get the second one. As you can see, I'm trying to fill in as like last second as possible. Yes, I got sloppy work, but that was going to be a booch hole anyway. And I still got craftsmanship. The whole idea right there was I was hoping, hoping to get that Y piece so that I could finish that masterpiece. And then I would have gotten a masterpiece three, which probably would have at least scored a good rather than a fine. Um, but it's okay. Things happen. And we'll just wait until the Navy is ready to go again. And we'll just do some more carp. Um, I just want to do it for a little bit so that you guys can kind of get an idea and see how I do it. Bottom line is just kind of knowing the frequency of the pieces and trying to leave holes based off of the frequency of the pieces. You never want to leave yourself where you're hoping for a piece that's pretty much impossible. That's uh, one of the things that I don't think that I didn't, I don't think that I really covered so well in the first video. Um, so we'll just keep doing. So right here, I'm gonna want two P pieces. I already have three, so I'm in pretty good shape. Um, and we'll just keep fucking away, see? There's another one, so I'm still, again, in good shape. I knew that this was hopefully coming, so I went ahead and did that. There's Masterpiece already. Um, I, again, don't like the X piece. <laughs> Probably one of the more frustrating pieces in the game. Uh, or the puzzle, should I say, not the whole game. <laughs> don't, okay. So here, I'm deciding to go ahead and make a booch hole because I found it much more likely that I would be able to fill this, and that's a guaranteed masterpiece versus this had some weird pieces I'm not so sure would spawn. So I gotta remember this is my booch hole. I wanna fill it absolutely last so that I can keep on uh, chucking away with the masterpiece streak. Um, and Hopefully, it keeps the pieces spawning. Uh, and it looks like I don't quite have what I wanted, but that's okay. Sometimes the game doesn't like you. And tonight it seems carp does not like me. <laughs> and this is just to show you that even when I mess up with stuff, it happens. Mm -hmm. And again, didn't get the piece one that I was hoping for. Hopefully next set of boards will be better. And sometimes you just gotta get through all the stars and all the sets of boards and hope for a better set so that you could get better masterpiece streaks. Um, Cause of course, if you abandon duty, uh, when you're in the middle of things going bad, that's only gonna hurt your score, or I'm sorry, your rank. Uh, so I, I would not recommend that. Sometimes you just gotta keep plucking away even if, things didn't go so hot. 
which as you guys saw, sometimes things don't go so high. But that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these two or to shift the puzzle down. And that was a good one. I'm hoping right here for U or L, uh, but we'll see if I actually get it. There's the L. And eh. yeah, so right here, I was hoping for this piece exactly, uh, which is really good that spawn. Again, I still hate the X piece because it's pretty damn evil. Uh, so, wow, that was bad. Four. <laughs> uh, obviously, I just woke up. This isn't exactly my best carping, <laughs> to say the very least. Um, but hopefully it gives you an idea of the train of thought for why I leave some of the pieces the way I leave them. And as you can see, it doesn't always bank right. So there's Masterpiece 2, which means that we're getting back on the right track. Uh, this could happen. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that piece kind of in reserve and kind of in my pocket. Uh, this also did happen. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. So that it shifts, and so that I have more room to go ahead and get rid of pieces that I don't immediately need, as I meanwhile focus. Now, see here, I did something stupid. I booched this hole. Uh, so since I booched the hole, I'm just going to use it to get rid of any crap pieces. And bottom line, I'm going to want to try to fill these two holes because they'll keep my masterpiece straight. Mm -hmm. And there's a masterpiece right there. And just go ahead and fill it in. So that hopefully my uh, duty report at this leak point isn't as bad. <laughs> but it'll probably be hot garbage. Yeah, it's still fine. And I think that we will, once we go to the port, we'll try one more time, see if uh, maybe I wake up and <laughs> get back to being good at carp <laughs> like I should be. Uh, but um, still, hopefully, it will help you guys out. And yeah, this, this just is the end of the puzzle. I'm just not getting the pieces I want, but that's okay. Uh, it even says right here kind of what the most common, what these common pieces are uh, as we went over. So the game does have very handy in-game kind of stuff so that you don't have to go looking it all up on Wipedia. Uh, but if you didn't already know, Wipedia is one of the best things ever. It's super helpful. It'll answer like, any of your questions uh, with anything going on uh, in the game. And it's also uh, a quick and easy place to get to the forums, which is also good to know so that you can know events going on in the game, things that people are hosting, you know, uh, even what flags intending to drop on what island, all sorts of cool things like that. Uh, so yeah, check those out if you haven't already. And I don't think I'm going to get that. And the trip here is almost done anyway. Yeah, still got good, which is better. A lot better than we've been doing so far this morning. 
And yeah, got bandana, guys. That's super duper awesome. I don't really actually care, obviously. Okay, so hopefully this batch, I'll show you guys how carp's actually supposed to work. Uh, but hopefully you guys also kind of saw I was leaving things open uh, for the most common pieces or more common pieces, not always the most common pieces because you can't always leave everything in peas. Also, as you puzzle and puzzle more, you're gonna see that sometimes you'll get a wave of a certain piece and then you're gonna have a drought for a little while. Uh, like right here, I got a wave of eye pieces. I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> So since you're going to get wave, like let's just say if you notice you've gotten a whole bunch of uh, pea pieces to spawn, do be aware that that does likely mean that they won't be spawning for a little while. So don't bank on that piece uh, if you're, you know, trying to fill in a hole or anything. Uh, it's just good practice in my opinion. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. And really what I need to be doing is trying to fill in these two since they're the most complete. But I'm kind of obsessing over this one for some weird reason. <laughs> do, do as I say, not necessarily as I do sometimes. <laughs> because Sometimes I do things that are not good by the book, and this was a booch. That that wasn't the best right there. So since we have a booch hole, we will go ahead and use it for any of the crap that we don't need. Uh, hmm. And we want to have a masterpiece streak going, so these two hopefully will be masterpieces. We didn't want that interrupted by that booch hole, because uh, that would have been ugh. So we saved it till it was wiggling, like we went over in the first video. And look, see, now we got this piece. If we had filled it in earlier, we may very well not have gotten, oh, two pieces now. <laughs> Uh, as I said, they sometimes come in waves. That's weird. And uh, some of you guys were kind of thought it was weird or curious why I, I wait so long for them to wiggle. That's exactly why. So that if you're banking on peace, uh, it's more likely to come at that point. You give yourself more chances to find it versus if you just immediately fill the hole. Now here I'm kind of left with very little choice, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. Yeah. There you can keep that masterpiece. And now we just hope for the piece that did spawn again, see. There, I filled it in and I was able to keep the masterpiece. And since I waited, I immediately had the piece for later. So um, bottom line is just super important to kind of, I guess, stall out. <laughs> um, to, to pretty much overall help you in the end. Pretty much, that's, that's the bottom line. And right there, I can fill that in with two P pieces, but they're super common. And I might need them for some of these other holes. Uh, looks like we are going to have a booch hole. And unfortunately, it's a very small one. Uh, if you're going to have a booch hole, I'd try to have as big of a hole as possible so that you could just fill in your junk and get at least three more masterpieces. Obviously, I'm up to masterpiece times five. Which is a lot better than I was doing earlier. Uh, okay. And we're up to excellent, which is a lot more par for the course than the 
than that terrible session I had earlier. <laughs> Okay, so here we are hoping for that piece. Uh, it's very likely to come. Uh, we'll go ahead and hope for that there. The, um, I think it was called the F piece. At least that's what I call in my head. So yeah, this piece right here. So see, we can fill in right there and have that. And we also need it here. Um, we we hit this hole the most recently, so it's more likely to wiggle. So we want to go ahead and fill it in first. And now we got this wiggling. Uh, it looks like we won't be able to to satisfy it, but that's okay. We still got sparkly. Like we're really close to full sparkly, which means we'll have definitely excellent. Yeah, there we go. Um, definitely excellent, if not uh, maybe incredible on the weak point. Um, also, as with any of these puzzles, it's a lot harder to um, get that incredible uh, or even the excellent if your experience is low and if your rank's low. The more of these stars you have, the easier bottom line it is, the more opportunities to, you have to, uh, to fill in holes, which Bondline will help you uh, get your stat up. Yeah, we're still at excellent. Next DR, if I could get some more masterpieces in here, then we'll probably hit incredible. If. <laughs> Obviously, this is not my best puzzle tonight. Or this morning, no. Ugh. And um, Right, but right here we were hoping for this piece, which spawned. So yay! Just kind of leave it for the pieces that you kind of feel like are due. I guess you could say. Um, you know, if you haven't been seeing a certain piece in a while, and you know that's moderately frequent, not insanely rare, uh, then you can probably fill in the hole knowing that you probably be okay. Right here I'm making a bet that I'm gonna get this bad bet it would seem so far. But we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a bootchel so that the puzzle will shift over. So that maybe I can make these holes. There we go, we got it. So that maybe I can make these holes masterpieces. And yes, I interrupted my masterpiece streak, but now I actually can start the masterpiece streak. And now I'm up to masterpiece two. And I shift the puzzle over again. And now I kind of have a fresh slate in the middle of my puzzle session, which is always good. Um, and we're good. And my carp went up on this brand new vault. Uh, so, I mean, that was only a moderate amount of, of puzzling, and I'm already up to distinguish. And I've never carved on this, um, on this alt before. So, hopefully, that kind of gives you guys some ideas, uh, and hopefully, that's helpful. Um, I'll be making more videos, uh, maybe even another one in just a second for <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in, guys.